What's going on guys? Drone Wars in your face. I'm actually here at Devil's Den, which is a scuba diving, uh, snorkeling experience. Very unique. Um, basically, it's the only prehistoric uh, underwater spring that has a hole that goes uh, from the ground up into the sky. It's a very unique scenario. Um, with that being said, uh, the reason they call it Devil's Den is because somebody came across this spring at one point back in the day, and it was cold, cold, cold on an early morning. And what ended up happening was steam was coming out of the hole and somebody thought it was a fire. But after closer inspection, they realized it's just an underwater spring that is constantly 72 degrees year round. They use it for snorkeling, scuba diving, they have a cave system. And uh, I've made some preparations to come out here, have a little bit of fun. Um, I gotta tell you though, the staff is amazing here. Very, very amazing. I am out here to do a review of the world's uh, most affordable most affordable underwater submarine, submersible ROV platform, the Chasing Dory. And um, I've run into so many situations where I don't have clear water and this is one of those places I knew has clear water so we came out here to do it. And just a side note guys, I did a lot of work to be able to do this. This wasn't just something that we were able to do. We had to set this up, communicate with the right people. This was a lot of work to make this happen. So don't just think you're going to show up with your ROV and be like, I'm going to use my ROV and that's just the end of it. That's not the case. You have a lot of work ahead of you if you choose to, to do that. I just want to give the staff a major shout out here. You guys are totally awesome. So let's get in here. Let's uh, put this thing in the water, see how it functions. And afterwards, I'll give you guys my first opinion because I've used this a few times and the water hasn't been clear enough to actually give you my opinion of how this thing functions and works so let's take this devil's den it is i'll see you guys there all right so we are actually at devil's den before it opens and i clearly see why they call it devil's den now because this is full of steam and there's bats whizzing around my head did you see them they're all over dude there's little bats just screaming around inside here so Yes, this place is currently closed, so we have access to the entire place to ourselves. And we're going to throw in, what are we going to throw in, dude? Uh, dory. We're going to throw the dory, in to, throw the dory into the Devil's Den cave uh, and have a little fun. So let's see if we can produce some good footage. I do have some lights, but they have also turned the lights on inside the cave for us, as you can see. Beautiful. It is gorgeous with no activity and nothing going on in the morning. It is currently 6.57 a.m., Let's get this started.
what's up guys, I'm now home, so let's talk about the pros of this thing. The pros are, works really well. I had it in low mode, so I wasn't going very fast. Obviously, when you're trying to get good footage, you don't want to be in high speed mode, just ripping around. You know, it's, when you're trying to get footage, you want to be in low mode. So I was in low mode, just kind of creeping along, checking out the rocks. Um, unfortunately, the time of day that we went, like I said, in the morning, there's, there's not much light penetration coming through the ceiling. So when I had to turn on the LEDs, you got a lot of like debris floating around in the water unfortunately during the day it actually looks better the reason we couldn't take the footage during the day insurance reasons and number two um, clearly people are snorkeling and scuba diving we don't need an rov cable getting tangled up in a bunch of people trying to do it so we had a very limited time frame to do this and so we did what we could it still i think came out as good as it could have um battery life phenomenal I played with it for 40 minutes and I was only down to like 74% battery. So, I mean, clearly if you're in low mode taking footage, it does really, really well. Had no Wi-Fi problems. Um, you guys know that I set it up so I can use a game pad, a Bluetooth game pad. Um, I have a video showing how to do that if you guys are curious. I have a whole video showing you how to set up using a Bluetooth game pad for like $20 instead of buying the transmitter that they offer you from Chasing Dory. I have a whole system uh, set up so you can buy a cheap game controller for Android or iOS and be able to use it with your phone. Um, and, and the dory. Um, speed was great. There is the only real gripe I have with this thing is that I would love to see more camera options available to you as far as settings go. And the other thing is I want an orientation map. I want to know whether, the, whether it's looking at me or I'm away from myself, what my pitch angle is, tilt, all that kind of stuff. I want to see that information on the screen. You know, it has a, a gyro and an accelerometer and all that kind of stuff. I want to see that. That, that would be a major plus if I knew that I was coming back to myself. I can't, you know, I was having to visually line of sight. So if I went into a cave system, it would be really hard to detect if I was going away from myself or coming back. You know, like that, that's the downfall of, of this is that there's no, there's no, uh, you know, uh, orientation map. So I would love to see that. Other than that, I think it functioned really well. Um, the limitation was not being able to take it out during the daytime, obviously. Um, we had to do it at a very specific time for specific reasons. I think the footage still came out good. It was an enjoyable experience. And by the way, if any of you guys ever want to try out Devil's Den, I will put all of their information below. It is a very unique experience. They have camping. They have, almost have a petting zoo out there. They have a, um, emus. They got all sorts of crazy animals on their property. They got hiking, snorkeling. They got all everything, and it's very affordable. It is extremely affordable. If you're just primitive tent camping, it's $12 a night. That's with electricity and water included. Crazy. Even their RV stuff is super cheap. Um, it's a very unique place. They have Wi-Fi on property. They have everything you need. I mean, and, and if you, they don't, 2.1 miles up the road is a Winn-Dixie. You can get everything you need from Winn-Dixie. So shout outs to Devil's Den for letting me do this. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Try it during the day. It's a real fun experience. It was very unique for me to be able to do it in the morning because it was 52 degrees outside, which was perfect conditions to actually see the steam rising out from the hole. I never thought that we would actually get that footage, but I did. It was 52 degrees. It was perfect. It was chilly. As soon as we went down into the den, it got hot. I was actually able to take my coat off because it wasn't cold down there. It was very warm. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's a $500 uh, ROV platform for anybody that has 500 bucks to throw around and they have nice clear water around them to actually take it out, take an adventure and uh, throw it in the water, get some cool footage. We have more stuff planned for it, so I hope you guys stick around for that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Push the notification bell, and uh, if you like what I do or you have questions, just leave a comment below. Let me know. All right, guys. Drum worship. I'm out. Toodles. Good afternoon. Please give your attention to my associate, Agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slick. Mm, thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. 